All right, let's look at um, these guys here. So these guys here are really just do you know what the rules are? So secant is the flipping of the cosine and cosecant is the flipping of the sine. So honestly, we just figure out what, what cosine of three pi over two is. And three pi over two is right here. And cosine here is zero. Cosine, remember, is the thing that goes left or right. And here it didn't go left or right at all, so that's zero. And one over zero is undefined. Sine of five pi over three will be here, All right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, pi over three. And sine of that is negative root three over two. And so we just need to flip it. Now you can rationalize the denominator there, which gives you two root three over three, or you can leave it that way. Uh, it's kind of up to your teacher what it is that they want you to all right, let's go ahead and look at this one here because it's a little bit different. This here, we're looking here, so the cosine of theta is equal to negative 3 pi over 2, which is um, our two options. Well, cos cosine? Cosine's over here. So this guy here would be negative 3 pi over 2, and then this one here would be negative 3 pi over 2. We want to find out between 1080 and 1260. So in order to do that, we need to use a calculator or whatever you want to do. And I really want to just figure out how many times around the circle did I actually go. So I'm going to do 1080 minus 360 minus 360 minus 360. Oh, wow. So that means really this is the equivalent of zero degrees as the coterminal angle. And then I'm going to do the same thing. 1260 minus 360 minus 360. Whoops. Minus 360, that's not going to do that, hold on. Oh, where was I? I'm sorry, 1260 minus 720 is two sets of 360, so we're going to do that, and then minus 360. And that gives us 180, so that's really between 0 and 180. So I want to know cosine between 0 and 180, so this part here is the spot. So that is, um, what, the equivalent of 150. But, technically, I need to use my reference angle. So I have some choices. I can either use my reference angle and go 30 back from here. Because remember, this was all the way over here. So if I go 30 back, I'm going to get um, 1230. Or I can say 150 is my reference angle plus 360 plus 360, still is in between there, plus 360, and sure enough, that's the first time of a coterminal angle of that spot that's actually within those two little sections there. So just one answer that I have on that. All right, we're going to look at two more. These are pretty similar to the ones up on top there. Um, on all of these, all of these, treat the, treat the, uh, the theta, uh, the degree, that like it's an x until the very end. So this one here is secant, this is not how you spell secant, let's try that again. Secant squared theta equals one. And when I square root that, I get secant of theta is equal to plus or minus one. So remember, secant goes with cosine. Cosine is equal to one here, what do I want degrees? Here and here. When I flip over one, I still get one. So I want 0 degrees and 180 degrees because I want both a plus and a minus. And again, cosine is where it's equal to 1 and 1, but when I flip over 1, I get the same thing. Let's look at this one here. This one here, if I factor out a cosine, I get 4 cosine squared minus 1. So I have two things. I want to know when cosine is equal to 0, and I want to know when 4 cosine squared equals 1. Notice I put the 1 over on the other side, and then cosine squared is equal to um, 1 fourth, and cosine is equal to plus or minus 1 half. 
Cool, so I have a lot of things here. I want to know when cosine is equal to zero, so that's going to be up at pi over, or sorry, 90, as well as uh, 270. So those are those spots where it's equal to zero. And then I also want to know every spot is equal to one half. So I want this one and this one and this one and this one. This one is short, medium, long, so I want short. So that is 60 degrees and 120 degrees and 240 degrees and 300 degrees. So each of those uses the reference angle of the 60.